Welcome to Food Point, episode 111, Getting to Know Your Gadgets. This will be the final tips video for season 1 and completes the set of equipment used throughout the season. Kitchen gadgets, whether they be mechanical or electronic, are extremely useful as they cut down on the amount of work you would have to put into your recipes otherwise. Firstly, a food processor. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, you can get a fairly decent food processor for well under $100 these days. They are good for mincing, pureeing, and can also be used to finely chop certain vegetables, such as mushrooms. If you can get one with a dough blade, then you open up the possibility to make pastries and doughs, like I did for my fresh pasta recipe earlier in the season. Some food processors even come with a blender attachment for making drinks or soups, and a smaller attachment for making dips or grinding spices. A food processor is a very versatile and useful tool. Even if you only use it once or twice a month, I'd still consider it money well spent. Secondly, a benchtop or stand mixer. You can get one of these for anywhere between $200 to $1000, depending on the brand and style. Some of you may be hesitant to spend this kind of money, but in my opinion it's a good investment. If you're still not convinced, you can pick up a handheld electric mixer for under $50, but you won't always get the same result as you would with a benchtop mixer. And as there are some jobs that don't necessarily require the big mixer, I would recommend that you buy both. Next, a pasta roller. This is probably less versatile than some of the other gadgets, but you can also use it to roll out sheets of pastry. Finally, a stick blender or bar mix. I find these very useful for making mayonnaise, aioli, salad dressings, or blending hot ingredients to make dips and sauces. You can pick up a decent one of these for under $50, and it doesn't really take up much room in a cupboard or drawer. So there you have my kitchen gadget recommendations. Please keep in mind that this isn't every gadget that I own, and you may see other equipment pop up in future videos that aren't listed here. But this is enough to make a start and will allow you to cook every recipe from this season, as well as most, if not all, recipes from future seasons. I hope that this video has been informative. I will be back next week with another recipe. For my previous tips videos, please click the boxes to the left, or for some of my recipes, please click the boxes on the right. And if you like what you see, subscribe and stay tuned for more.